What is going on guys? I wasn't planning on making a video today, but we just got recent news of a brand new AWS service that got me particularly excited. And that service is called Amazon Location. Uh, it's a brand new geospatial service that's offered through AWS. Uh, and I truly think it's gonna change the game in this kind of space of geospatial technologies. Uh, there's a couple of different products out there right now that uh, supply data and allow you to do kind of geospatial type things. But Amazon Location seems to be a little bit different in the sense that it leverages some other AWS integrations to create a truly powerful experience. So let me just run you through some of the details that are available right now. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more of this, but let me just tell you about the basics and uh, then we can talk more about the details in upcoming videos. So there's four main components. Uh, the first one is you can create maps. You think about like a normal map tile set that you would see on any application on uh, like Google Maps or whatever, OpenStreetMaps. You can create your own digital representations of maps. And there's also this concept of places and there's two different angles you can look at this. Uh, the first feature that they offer is given a particular location, tell me all the things that are around, right? What you would think when you're on Google Maps and you say, what are the nearby restaurants in an area? Conversely, they allow you to feed in a pair of coordinates and then you can find what address corresponds to that coordinate. And this is through a process called geocoding, which as you would imagine, helps you get addresses out of points. Uh, the third one, so I'm saving the, the best for the last. Uh, so the third one is something called trackers, and this is really where it starts to get interesting. So you can create like abstractions of devices and you can represent them by like people or whatever you want. And you can track the locations of these people or points over time. So getting live geo, geo ping updates every few seconds to track where these are. Um, so if you think about what this means for applications like you know Uber, like uh, DoorDash, like Lyft, all these applications that are inherently location-based, their entire problem, their entire algorithm is like who's closest and who should I offer this thing to? Any company that has a, a location-based element, it's very, very exciting because they can piggyback on the infrastructure that exists on AWS and then focus on building the, the business problem or solve the business problem that they're trying to solve. Uh, so very exciting for anyone that is solving a geolocation based problem. And the most exciting one is this concept of geofences. And this is really where it gets hot. Um, so it's the idea that you can draw a polygon around a particular location that you're interested in, say for example, like a shop or something. And then, you know, you have this concept of trackers or devices, and then you can get events when a person enters or exits exits a geofence. And it doesn't stop there. Not only can you get events, but you can broadcast them to Amazon EventBridge. It can go to SNS Topics. It can broadcast to anyone, right? Think about what this means. It's an incredible achievement. And all this integration that I'm sure they're gonna be doing is just gonna add more and more layers to this product and make it even better. Uh, Jeff Barr even mentioned that they're planning on adding a routing API so you can, you know, best routing algorithm from point A to point B. Maybe it'll, it'll take into account traffic, things like weather, something that you would normally see on Google Maps. Um, so this is a very exciting feature that, you know, hit close to home for me. Uh, and anyone that, that solves location-based problems, I'm sure there's there's going to be a lot of use cases that could take advantage of this brand new service. Um, so I hope you found this video interesting and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.